Hey guys, so today is check-in day for the tour of Utah. Just went and got my official staff laminate, uh, my technical guides, per diems, and everything like that. Uh, so tonight will be our first meetings, and then tomorrow starts all the fun. So we'll see you out there. All right, here we are. You can see uh, gotten kind of settled here into my uh, into my bunk or into my room. Um, I don't know if I have a bunk mate yet. No one has showed up. Had someone come in earlier. I guess they changed room. We're gonna go uh, get ready and uh, head over to the meetings so that we can uh, get all set up and get ready to go for tomorrow's work. See you guys later. All right, here we are on the prologue day, getting ready for the start of the prologue. It's a three mile time trial from Snowbird to Alta. Uh, as you can see, we're here uh, with all the Marshall vans, just getting everything set up. Uh, we're right here on the finishing stretch. Um, and so I'll be carrying my GoPro a little bit today and uh, see what kind of information I can get. All right, today I'll be sticking on all of the time trial names onto the vehicles as they come through. We're gonna be making them as they go, as well as removing them on the other side. So they'll finish the race on that side. They'll whip around here, and then they come to this side and I'll put the new sticker on. So that's my job for the day. guys it's me again so it was the first official day of racing today um, unfortunately I forgot my GoPro um, I do have some minor footage and videos from my phone that I'll incorporate here in a second wanted to kind of go over what we did today so today I was at the feed zone area um, and I basically just protected the roads around the feed zone got some cool stuff uh, you know I got a bunch of bottles over here but my main story of the day which is which I'll flip this around here and kind of give you a little overview of it so um, decided to go buy a yellow jersey today uh, it is last year's model but they were on sale so why not uh, so as you'll see here uh, we got a nice Larry H Miller tour of Utah yellow jersey uh, I spent some serious time this morning uh, going around getting it autographed by a lot of key players. And I'll kind of go over those here with you. So we have the current U.S. champion Alex Howes up here in the top. Uh, as we go down, we have former winner Rob Britton. Uh, one of the most awesome riders in the tour right here is T.J. Eisenhart. Uh, just below him, another former winner, which is going to be uh, Joe Dombrowski. Uh, below that, again, another former winner, we have uh, Lachlan Morton. Um, over here, uh, one of my personal favorite riders, we have Lawson Craddock. Uh, and probably one of the bigger names on here is we have Peter Stetna from Trek Segafredo. Um, so, awesome day today. Got to meet a lot of cool guys. Uh, get a really cool jersey signed by a lot of them. Uh, we are here at stage two today. Um, I'm going to be just uh, course marshaling this little road right here. Uh, we don't have a lot of volunteers today, so we're kind of spread a little thin. I also have to watch 
that road right over there and this fruit stand right here uh, so we're gonna see how well that works uh, we had a pretty short day today uh, we should be expecting them probably within the hour to hit us um, and yeah so once they get here I'll have uh, my GoPro set up a little bit so we have some cool footage of them coming by uh, but for the most part my job today is just to block the road hang out and uh, Try to stay in some shade because it's pretty hot. All right, see you guys later. What's up, guys? Still sitting out here for stage two, uh, watching the race on my phone. Um, there may be 15 minutes away, so uh, we'll see uh, what happens. And I'll have the same point of view while I'm out here blocking the roads and uh, give you a cool kind of first-hand view of what I'm doing out here. stop pickup uh, we are now currently following let's see right here we're currently following uh, the motorcade we're gonna follow them up to the top of Powder Mountain so we'll get to be able to be at the finish and I'll have some more footage for you there all right guys next time all right so we are at the top of Powder Mountain uh, which is the end of stage two I'm gonna try to show you some of the cool stuff we got going on here Got the announcers going on, so it is going to be a little bit loud. Just had the opportunity to meet Phil Guyman. Um, see if I can find him again, maybe get a little bit of an interview with him. That would be pretty cool. Uh, so we'll see about that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to take you around and see what we can find here. Marshall, so I'm a traveling course marshal, so but it's cool to meet you. So, all right, guys, so I'm here with uh, the amazing Phil Guyman, or Cookie Monster, some of you guys might know. I want to ask him a couple questions for you guys. So, Phil, what's brought you to Utah today and up to Powder Mountain? Uh, Monster Hydro is sponsoring one of the stages here, and they came out to sort of have me talk to people because their, their riders are too busy. They're sponsoring some teams, they're sponsoring the event, uh, and I'm just kind of here to hang out. And ride That's awesome. And uh, so I saw that you, you made the ride all the way up. Yeah. And so uh, that means that you, you got to be doing some good recovery here for your crash. Or, kind of. So are you still going for the, the track record, or is that kind of been? Uh, out of, out of I'm not sure yet. I can't. I can't really. I can't do the starts yet because I'm still too broken. <laughs> it's still um, too broken. So I'm just trying to get. I just need to get healthy and then I can figure out. Well, that's awesome. Away. Well, I, I got some cookies in the truck. There's Subway cookies if you want them. More than no, happy to give them to you. Oh, no. Subway cookies. No, I got standards. Oh, Sorry. that's true. You got to have the standards. But, so, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I asked a couple questions to see how you were doing. Um, I appreciate you giving us a little shout out on the vlog. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, but for, it was nice to meet you, man. Yeah, definitely. And uh, good luck. Heal up. And uh, hope to see you again, man. It's going to be a little bit windy over here as we're on the top of Powder Mountain right now. Uh, I am right outside the commentator's box. I can actually hear them inside there talking here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to spin around here. And you're going to see this beautiful view. So we got the last 500 meters of this race here. Right coming up is a nice, it, it's dirt. It's a beautiful dirt gravel section to finish on, which is just amazingly cool. Uh, just a cool addition to the tour this year. Uh, as you can see, way further over in the distance, that was the first climb of the day. Uh, and that's actually the Ogden area over there on the other side of that. But we came over that little hill there. Yeah, we say hill, but it's still a climb. Uh, the riders did two laps around the lake down in the basin and they're going to be coming up here. They're about four kilometers out from the finish, so we're going to work our way over there for the gravel finish and see what we can get on camera. Yeah! 
have just checked into our hotel room for the fourth night on the tour. Uh, this time we are in the historic Bigelow Hotel in downtown Ogden. Uh, so, kind of cool. I got my own little section here, my own little TV. Um, we're going to go out and explore downtown here in a little bit. Go ahead and get changed out of this kind of tour material. Uh, then maybe go find a pub and see what we can do. All right, see you guys later. Good. Oh, no, what is he doing? Oh, wow. You're doing the vlog? Good morning. Uh, heading over to the team meeting right now. Uh, we're going to be at Antelope Island today down in North Salt Lake. So it should be a pretty fun day today. Alright guys, so here we are. We have just entered the, the causeway uh, for stage three uh, from Antelope Island to North Salt Lake. Uh, we're currently driving out to Antelope Island right now. We're going to get set up at the start there and uh, and then once we get our locations, we'll shoot out to them and I'll have a little bit more footage for you. All right, guys, so we have made it to the start line of stage three, uh, which is going to be Antelope Island down to North Salt Lake. Uh, we won't be staying at the start, uh, but as you can see here, we are out on Antelope Island uh, looking out here. I'm going to have Donna come over here and mess with my, with my podcast. So, <laughs> so uh, start line's just down here. Um, we're going to go uh, inspect a few things and uh, maybe get a little bit more footage before we go out on the road. So I don't normally get to show this part because uh, I'm not normally a part of it. Uh, every morning uh, before the race starts, uh, all the marshals, we come over to what's called the feed vehicle and we get our supplies for the day, which is going to be waters, sprites, Powerades, Cokes, whatever they want to give us. Uh, we're also graciously supplied lots of food. Uh, from Subway, so I'll kind of just show you what goes on here. So we got piles of water and drinks, lots of water, Monster Hydros, people are picking up their uh, Subway sandwiches over here from the feed vehicle. <laughs> and uh, so that's pretty much where we get our, our daily supplies for the team as we're out on the road so that we're not starving or thirsty every single day. So. All right, guys, so here we are on stage three of the 2019 Tour of Utah. Today, uh, for my first drop, I am at the first sprint line. Uh, so we're gonna have a very, very fast downhill sprint today. I'm just gonna be making sure no one's pulling out into this area and ensuring that it is a safe sprint for the riders. Um, as like last time, I'll set up my camera in a you know safe space just to show the sprint as it comes through. trying to locate our second spot uh, for the third stage today. Uh, we're supposed to be on the finishing loop in Bountiful or North Salt Lake. Um, the One of the directors of the race pointed us in the wrong direction and we ended up walking a mile the wrong way. So now we're walking that mile back plus an additional mile to get to the location where we're supposed to be towards the finish. 
So wish us luck that we get there and can block the roads for the riders on time. All right, so we ended up missing our drops for the second uh, location today, but we're gonna hang out here on a turnaround, uh, downhill turnaround. There's already been, it looks like, one crash today, so we're gonna see what kind of footage we can get of the riders uh, coming through this area. So we'll turn the camera around here in just a second and see what we can see. Looks like the uh, the group of six riders, including uh, Alex Howes, U.S. national champion for road race, as well as uh, Travis McCabe uh, going for the sprint jersey, are in, I'm sorry, uh, are in the lead pack. And it looks like they have a minute 35 gap on the field. So we're going to turn back around here and we'll see the remainder of the peloton come around the corner. turning around here in just a second uh, we'll see some riders going by once we get the uh, the main pack through uh, and I'll have a little bit cooler of a perspective for the race Alright guys, so we're heading down to stage 4, which is going to be the Circuit of Salt Lake City today. Um, it's going to be 8 laps downtown. Uh, we're going to be, I'll kind of show you here on the map. We're going to be located between T and L Street, uh, right here, blocking off with a start and finish over here. Um, should be a pretty easy day, just block a couple roads. We have only just the one drop, no movement. Uh, so we'll get some footage once we get down there. Looks like we're going to go have a little bit of fun before because we don't have to be there for a couple hours. So uh, we'll see what happens today. All right, so just now leaving the expo at Salt Lake City. Got a bunch of really cool stuff. We got a backpack full. Show it all to you a bit later. So, but my favorite one is a dick measurer. I am posted here on uh, South Temple. Uh, my corner or my road's going to be right there. Uh, right now I'm walking along, checking the road, uh, trying to get debris or anything that may cause riders to crash, fall, or anything like that off the road. And I'm also walking down here to remove these signs and uh, making sure that no one parks on the road. If they park on the road, they will immediately get towed. Uh, so I'll have some footage for you once everything gets started and going. Uh, they're doing eight laps today, so it should be a pretty good day. So uh, we'll uh, get the camera going here in a little while when they get started. All right, so we are two laps into the Salt Lake City crit stage. Uh, next time around, I'm going to put the camera down so that you guys can see the speed that they're coming down this hill at. They're doing probably over 50 miles per hour. They're, they're booking it pretty good. Currently, there's a small break with Lawson Craddock and uh, Travis McKay, but it's only about five seconds, so most likely it won't hold. So we'll see what, uh, what the next lap holds.
everyone. So today we are on stage five. It's going to be Canyons Village uh, at the Park City Mountain. Uh, looks like riders going to be doing about 79 and a half miles today, or 128 kilometers. Um, I'll turn around. We'll show you the kind of the stage here. So uh, we're going to be starting in the Canyons Village. They're going to be doing an out and back. Uh, we're going to be stationed right here in this location on Old Highway 40. Uh, we'll have the outward bound, and then we're going to have about a two and a half hour time gap for them to be coming back to us. Uh, once they come back, we'll shift about a quarter to half a mile uh, for our secondary location. Uh, following that, we're going to be going to the Salt Lake City Bees game today. Uh, should be a pretty fun day today, so I'll have some footage once we get out there, and uh, see you guys later. All right, guys, so here we are. We are at uh, right towards the start line of the stage five, which will be the Canyons Resort stage uh, by Park City Mountain. We have two locations today, but they're about a half a mile apart, uh, and they're on the out and back, so we don't have too much movement today. So, kind of walk through some of the team cars here. Uh, at the Canyons Resort just to kind of see what's going on. So right here we got Rabo Hincapi. You see that their mechanics are out getting their bikes ready. Uh, right here in front of me we have Worthy Pro Cycling, uh, which is where Travis McCabe transferred over to. We'll kind of walk over here and look at some of their bikes for a minute. But Worthy Pro is rocking these amazing Van Diesels here this year. Beautiful colors. Um, just behind us here we have the uh, wildlife's truck. I'll kind of do a little spin around through here so you can see all their extra bikes that they got. A uh, boatload of vision wheels. Looks like we got some deep 55s up there. Have some discs back there for the time trial. A couple time trial bikes hanging around over there as well. And then some smaller just everyday riding wheels. So it's a pretty cool nice truck setup they got here. We've made it over towards the Avello cycling team. Um, we got their team truck right here in front of us. I'll kind of whip around and show you that. So it looks like they are running the Durace wheels here. Uh, they got some nice setups here. A lot of their wheels are bagged. You uh, can see one bike back over there. Lots of wheels here. And a good assortment of bikes right here out on the front that the mechanics are getting ready for the day. Beautiful bikes here. Um, we do have uh, Mosca's bike here, which is a nice, very beautiful, special truck right here with this beautiful paint job. So, beautiful, beautiful bikes for track. Show you the Arapaho Hincapi team uh, mechanics truck. So as you see here, we got a nice large box truck here with their logos on it. We'll walk around the back side here, kind of just take a little peek inside. So it looks like they got a couple time trial BMCs up on the wall. Lots of Dura Ace wheels up over here on the left side and a couple extra BMC bikes. Uh, it does look like we have a couple more racks of Dura Ace bikes or wheels over that direction of all different depths. Uh, we do have quite a few extras over here for their bikes, you know, just some BMCs stacked up over here. Um, we have, you know, their team car here, and of course, we have their RV where they're all getting ready and going over for today's stage. So we're out here, stage five, uh, out on route, <laughs> out on route, uh, currently trying to get a bunch of debris out of the the path of which the riders will be taking, uh, just including rocks like these. Just try to make it a little bit smoother of a ride for them as they come around. We're going to be protecting uh, this corner right here. The riders will be making this turn, coming directly towards where I am and heading down that direction. And then they will also be doing the same in reverse, coming from that direction, shooting back up towards that turn. So right now we're just trying to get this all cleared off as much as we can and hey, look at that a shell casing and uh, that way it's nice and smooth for them when they come through Alright, so we are still on the Canyon stage, uh, which is stage five. Uh, I just got dropped for my second drop of the day. It'll be my last drop. Uh, we're expecting riders to come through in about 45 minutes or so. 
Um, I do have a corner here which I'll flip around and show. So the riders are going to be coming from that direction over there and they're going to be making a right hand turn down the road over there. You can see another marshal just down that way blocking a road. So I'm going to go around, sweep the area, make sure everything looks good and that there's no uh, major rocks or any items in the way that could uh, harm any of the riders. Okay. Alright, still sitting here at stop number two. Um, nothing going on yet. Uh, just kind of hanging out, sitting on this uh, sign. You know, in the nice sunlight, no shade, lots of fun. Uh, just been watching the tour. Uh, right now they are 20 miles to go. Um, and I believe that I'm about 12 miles from the finish, so we have about 8 miles till they get to me. Um, I do have my police officer over there already in his super undercover Toyota Highlander. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll uh, see all what goes on and uh, once the riders start coming by, I'll go ahead and uh, get the video set up so you can see how they make the turn. So just got back to the hotel after uh, stage five, uh, which was the Canyons day. Um, I'm actually getting kind of dressed really fast. I'm going to go meet my wife and my daughters because uh, we're going to go over to the Salt Lake Bees game. I'm not going to be bringing my GoPro just in case they don't allow me to have it inside. So I'll toss some pictures in or videos in from my phone uh, while I'm there. Uh, today was a pretty cool day. I got a... Uh, Wildlife Generation jersey today. Pretty cool cause that they're supporting. I'll throw some more information in about that. Uh, kind of goes along with one of my own personal loves, which is protecting the oceans. Um, so yeah, I also uh, caught a water bottle today. Um, this one personally belonging to the sprint leader, uh, Travis McCabe. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I know personally which one it came from and I have it on footage. Um, so yeah, other than that, I'm gonna get all cleaned up and I'm gonna go meet my wife and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Last day, so we're here at the morning team meeting on the last day. Uh, we switched over to our blues, just kind of a little tradition. So we're here at the meeting here in the morning. Um, I'll get you a little update on today's stage once we get into the van. Uh, all right, so we are uh, in the van, in route, final day, uh, which is day six. This is the Park City stage. Uh, should be a pretty good, exciting day. Uh, we're going to see how it all ends. Once we get up there, we'll do a little bit of a, a start-finish line area kind of set up like we did yesterday. And uh, once we figure out where the routes are, where we're going to be dropped at, I'll share that information. And then we'll have some footage out on the road. See you guys out there. All right, guys. We are on entering Main Street uh, for the final day of the Tour of Utah. Uh, today, the rider are going to be coming up right through Park City Main Street. All right, we've made it up to the top of this hill. As you see, way down Main Street there. We're all the way up to the finish. So we do have our main stage right here to the left. And then our start finish line right down over here. So we're going to snap a photo of that and start working our way back down. All right, so I'm out here at stop number one for uh, the final stage um, or my first drop uh, currently just getting a few things settled I'm trying to grab some water out because I'm quite thirsty oh, I still have a Pepsi I'll drink that uh, my first drop today is uh, myself and Nick fellow course marshal is riders gonna be coming over this hill here and uh, we want to prevent them from going that way 
cool. Yeah, oh, I did. <laughs> yeah, we're actually sending them that way. So yeah, again, that's Vic. Um, we're sending them that way course direction. So we gotta block that road off. Um, should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good little corner here. Just a nice fast speed. Uh, we're about 20 minutes out from the riders coming through. Uh, per usual, once they come through, I'll drop the camera and uh, have some footage of them flying through. So we'll see you guys in a bit. They're about 15 minutes out. Uh, we've been kind of prepping, getting people off the roads, cleared some stuff off the roads. Uh, ended up having to, me personally, climb up that sign right there next to the stop sign, put trash bags on there because it's a big, huge yellow left-hand turn. We don't want the riders to mistake that for going straight where they're supposed to be. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. Should be through here in a few. I'll have the camera set up for their ride as they pass by and then we'll hop in the van for our next drop. You got it, man. On my final drop of the 2019 tour of Utah. Uh, we are over in Midway uh, for our second drop. Uh, just up the road here, about maybe a mile, is the Homestead Crater, which you can go swimming in. Pretty cool. My wife and I did that uh, about a year ago. Um, we're just going to be protecting this corner, or me, I will be protecting this corner, ensuring that no one enters from this location. Riders are going to be coming from that street there and they're going to be heading up that direction there. Or cowbell. Ah! All right, so we are still going up Empire Pass here. We're behind the final rider of the day. Uh, the racers have actually already finished crossing the finish line. Uh, Joe Dombrowski took the stage today. Um, so we're going to look at the overall standings tonight, see how everything lined up with the time gaps. Uh, it looked like Piccoli dropped back, uh, but it looked like Hermans is going to keep the yellow jersey. Um, so we'll take a look at everything at the end. And uh, as we get up to the top here, we'll uh, open up the door and kind of go through the crowd, which will be kind of cool.